that's not a talent. It's a <laughs> sickening disease. Get a real, right, job. Right, get a real job. All right. So, all right, hello everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Fireside Chats. We got a cool. Ooh, they're warm up by the oh, fire. Warm, little, little, little warm fire cool back here. Really changed our mascot a little bit. He's an edgy teen for the edgy world that we live in. I'm Angelo Oriema. I'm Josh Cruz. I'm Ian Corbin. And that's everyone. That's it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Haley Moore. Uh, we're here to interview her about her um, horrifying trauma that she went through. Mm. Uh, um, yeah. She went through a devastating, devastating incident uh, involving the um, Indiana governor... Uh, Eric Holcomb, mm -hmm. uh, she's alleging a serious sexual assault oh story. Oh my god, that's like, not where I thought this was going. Wow, I thought this was going to be like... Okay, probably we shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah. No, he's, a, he's fine, he's a fine thing. He's a politician. He's a fine he's thing. thing. He's yeah. Josh Cruz. That's, yeah. my, that's my endorsement of okay. Eric Holcomb. No, okay, we actually, we do have a delicious topic here today. All spill oh, we actually do! Is it because what I, think we're I about? this yeah. was right, this was authentic right before the podcast. Because we might have footage of it because we kind of were just kind of rolling it. It'll probably be a maybe we can. But it might have cut out. I don't know. But we did. We were we set up the Facebook <laughs> page for the Nerdy Wells, each, which you go to like the the Twitter. The yeah, Alec we're doing the stuff. social media. Do the Twitter. Which the Twitter is? You want to drop that handle? What is it? Uh, the Twitter is at n d w underscore, which I love. Productions, <laughs> go like that. It has two tweets so far. You'll love it, guys. But we, they're very racist. But we were talking about. <laughs> It's all a lot of uh, just libtard uh, bashing. Uh, we're just not my words, your words. We're exposing the cucks out there, Jesus. and really, so just keep joining us on Twitter. So, but the one thing that surprised me is that we were setting up the social media pages, and I was like, I don't know how to do this. But then Ian brought up the fact that he had a, a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've never. I'm not good at social media. If you've ever followed anything, I get maybe two likes or whatever. Sometimes I forget he's alive. Yeah, I don't see a post from him for a long time. <laughs> and and it comes down to the fact that I don't um, post a lot on anything, uh, whether that be YouTube or anything. I I've had YouTube channels in the past when mm -hmm. I was like little. Yeah. So. Well, what did you stumble <laughs> into? Can you like tell that story? So you admit Ian had mentioned that he had a news page on Facebook, like a news channel, and basically, Josh went on, and he knew about it, and he was talking about how basically, you had set up a news page that looked like a real news page, that people would then think was a news page and follow it, but it turns out you were just spreading fake news. Because, and no offense to my own mom, but moms on Facebook, they don't exactly know... They eat it up. Like, yeah. they don't know what's real or fake, that's why the fake news thing Literally happening. this morning, my mom called me in a room and was like, my phone's broken, please fix my phone. So, they follow this this Facebook page that has, uh, you know, the nor like a normal uh, news banner. Let's not banner. drop names right now. I, I won't, I won't. Yeah. It has a normal looking news banner, it has like a profile picture. And it's so picture. fake, what, what is the description again? Oh. It's, uh, check, it's like check back Giving here you again. the latest information on groundbreaking events. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. <laughs> and that's the thing. Is that I is that I look it up and there's like five different results for the same uh, title, and I and I was like, which one is it? And Josh points out the one that it is correctly, uh -huh. and it's the one with twenty two thousand two hundred and eighty seven likes, and the posts are from two thousand and ten when Ian was in middle school, mm -hmm. spreading news about zombie attacks. Justin Bieber in the Transformers movie, and Tim Burton to adapt a horror movie of Goodnight Moon. Yep. Uh, what was the other one? There's, a There's oil, a, spill, I, oil Spill 6 or something? Uh, Johnny Depp, done with pirates, moves on to next film. The Little Mermaid 6, Oil Spill. So, I think this is brilliant. This is a... Like, this is a dream come true. This is the ultimate troll, and it's been seven years. It's seven in years the in the making. making. What, something that, if you go to the very top, my last post I ever made, I was doing an Indiegogo for a friend, and I actually posted it on there and promoted it. It got funded. I'm not saying it was because of me. Uh, it got a th over a thousand bucks. And I think it was because of. By 26 <laughs> backers, too. Yeah, it's because of the news channel. I posted it on there. I'm like, hey, you should follow this new and upcoming artist. <laughs> so. <sighs> I, but that's that's I, not the darkest side of the story, though. No, so there is a dark side. I forgot about this. If you get past the vague homophobia. <laughs> From middle school, early 2000s homophobia. We'll the, clean that up, don't you worry, guys. We are. Um, 
we have messages. I get about 2,000 views a day, or every week. Mm -hmm. And I constantly on Facebook, I'll have notifications. And someone like once said, oh, you must be really popular on Facebook. I'm like, no, it's my news channel that I don't post on. I actually, and my um, producer right here, Landon Corbin, my little brother. Nice is shirt, a, by the way, Landon. I like the Hamilton shirt. He's actually wearing, it's a, I mean. It's actually just a tattoo. It's what would gener gen generously be described as, as um, rabidly anti-Semitic. That's generous. Let's putting it generously, if if I had to say. But so it's nice. I, I I'm saying I like the shirt. The design is cool, not the content, not the message that it's trying to send. No, just about. the design yeah. of it. I feel a little more compulsed to go kick a Jew just by <laughs> looking at it. I'm not going to, but I do feel like the shirt. The shirt's doing its job. <laughs> just go kick a Jew. I'm just saying, it's a nice shirt. It's, it's a job to do. Go. Can we get that to be a phrase? Is this like, hey, that's a nice shirt. I could kick at you. That shirt makes me want to go kick at you. Uh, find us on Teespring oh, at the Nickels. I'll make that shirt tonight. So good. That's a shirt, baby. Write it I'll up. I'll make that shirt. Uh, Redbubble.com, baby. <laughs> so, the darkest part about this is people send me messages. And they're not like, oh, check out this news story. It's like, my daughter's been missing for two days, and we think she might be dead. And it's sad, and, why well, you can't get a laugh. Not those ones. There are ones that you can't get a laugh. And there's this woman, or this man, wow, <laughs> this man that sent um, 46 notifications in the last couple weeks. I'm going to read a couple of the, the headlines that they sent me from their, on shaky ground. <laughs> from their trusted news source, YouTube.com. Yep. Trusted news. I'm not going to say the name. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Photos of George H.W. Bush at funeral with JFK proves treason. I bet that's legit. Let's see. Um, oh, there was a one I read. White people are not human. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the truth is I was out. Like, when are you going to start telling me opinions? These are all facts. Three reasons most black people don't become wealthy. Oh, that can't be a good video. I, I doubt it. That, that look at this YouTube social? January 4th window blinds with cords not even a video just a message <laughs> does he think this is Google <laughs> I think this guy thinks this is Google he thinks he's typing it into google.com right now why did Donald Trump hey Google what are three reasons black people <laughs> excuse me google.com uh all racist opinion that please <laughs> Do -do -do -do. and uh, boop and there it is right in front of me um, what are three reasons that black people can't get wealthy? <laughs> Did they record your Siri question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are three reasons that black people can't get wealthy? It's me, Michael Kay. <laughs> it's Michael Kay. Michael Kay. <laughs> uh, just some sketchy Google. All right. Oh, boy. Michael Kay. On February 8th, what have you been drinking? It's 72 degrees. I don't want what you drink. <laughs> So we will, okay. this to what they think yeah. is a news site, they are, Yeah, they are killing us with medication. We'll, we'll get off of that person because they're crazy. What we'll do is we will put some screenshots. We will block out the name and the picture and everything. We'll post a little screenshot on our Twitter. So if you want to see, if you're yeah, watching us on social wanna, media. And then you can see some of these behind the scenes pics because these are, they're... Like, they are sad sometimes. Like, I think everyone has a cursory understanding that the internet is a lawless waste. Do we want these people to be our followers? So the plan was... We, we have two a, ideas. We have two ideas, and maybe you can help us out, because we don't really know what to do with this cesspool of a community I've fostered. <laughs> the, internet is a, the internet is a mistake. I really think. We, so, we made a mistake on the internet, guys. So one, we could, I, just take it back. we could continue doing, no, we could bring that. back the site, or the page, and keep posting fake news. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just for the lulz. Or we could just change it into a narrative page, and just, with all yeah. those likes. Now we have 22,000 likes on a page that we didn't earn. Well, if you, like, change everything, then they won't look, where's Channel 7? Like, they won't know that it's this, changed, this, right? Well, this is my point. This no. is what I think. Yeah, so won't. if we change it to the Nair Duels, if we just, like, make it our page, my point is that, um, you know, we have the numbers, the numbers are there, but the engagement is low. So, like... I get, I get 2,000 views a day. What I'm saying is, like, the long-term engagement of, like, people staying with the channel and, like, really engaging with the content and, like, enjoying the stuff. You're telling me this you person wouldn't stay. It's better than starting from ground that, zero. It's kind of like buying followers, except they're real people. And so it's like, even if they're not all going to unfollow, and so it's like people, I said, still, it's good publicity in, re in respect to the fact that people, I said. So you don't think it'd be weird? If you weird. see your page with a thousands of likes. millennials, I'm like. 
This is this is a seven year con, honestly. Yeah. That this it's is how you wanted con. to boost your YouTube this channel in seven years. Do you think that? I, is there anything else that we've laid the groundwork on, and then you're like you come back to it with twenty three thousand likes over oh. so many engagements? Well, there was that. Okay, so there was that YouTube thing that it went around maybe a couple months ago, where it was like these like toy channels came yeah. around oh, or like the Disney princess channels came around and they just immediately were having like 23 million views. So what were they like where? review the stuff? It was like a giant egg thing and they open up the eggs or the whatever. Spider-Man and Elsa. Yeah, the Spider-Man and, the Spider -Man and Elsa stuff, they came out of nowhere to just have like massive views out of nowhere. Can we so maybe, that? maybe it's kind of like that. Maybe if this is, but this is just the long term form. I'm just saying for Facebook, it's a pretty good idea. Oh, missing yeah, person alert. It's, it's 100% better than starting from nothing. Just saying. We just want to know he is safe. Paul, we love you. Please come home. And we are intimating. <laughs> oh my God. We are intimating that the followers we already have are nothing. You are worth nothing. No, you guys are great. Really, truly Way better than nothing at all. Any, if you have shown us any love and support, we care nothing for your yeah. involvement. Zero. I mean, you made you it didn't, today. You didn't like this bit at first. I saw you didn't like it, but uh, then you got on board. <laughs> you got into it. You got in the bit. That's most things. Yeah, you were just like, oh, I don't know. I never like it. Into yeah, it. yeah, peer pressure. It's let's fine. go. Let's do it. I mean, you guys did make the page today. So I don't think it really affects like your current like fan base. On hey, Facebook. we have four people liking this page. No, there's like more than there's we eight, could. Eighteen. So here's but what those oh, eighteen oh, right. would easily transfer to one with thousands instead. Yeah. That's, that's so. That's a that's good idea. Mob mentality. Thousands. Just invite them to that one. Here's my idea. I think that we have so a we consensus. we bring back this as a fake news channel. I can make you all mods. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we start posting our fake news and whatever slowly. We were like, oh, and you mentioned this heartwarming story about uh, three teenage boys. Uh, we're not teenage, but three yeah, teenage boys. Three twenty-somethings and a girl who, uh, you know, yeah. spread the awareness of Galileo. Spreading love about Galileo. The reasons will shock you. Click on it. <laughs> And then oh, one of our and videos. All of our that, on I the like YouTube this. Channel. This like, is see. This is the one that I like. I really was on board. And with we kind of like piece like slowly until it is an air. Totally delete like the old. Yes. Yeah. The, the homophobics. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Well, Very okay. Much and on middle school, we've all homophobic. posted stuff that we didn't like. I wasn't homophobic, but it was. He's jokes just like stuff. sweating was, so hard. <laughs> he's like, I've, we've all said things we didn't like. No, and I, and that's one of the things we can go on that. No one like Justin Bieber in 2010. It's so easy. Is it hot in here? Chicago police at their best. Best. Aren't you supposed to be at work? <laughs> and it's a picture of a car at their house. Cops have to live somewhere. No, they live at the, the <laughs> They live at the station. station. They just crack them out when there's a crime. It's like a Matrix pod situation. Ooh, I don't like this stuff. Oh, See, this is oh, where this is oh, where like it gets of weird. Kids. Oh, it's a picture of someone's kid being abused, and it's like, please air this. This is where Sometimes you can have a I real good laugh in this channel. You know, for all the moral situations, I was gonna it's, like, say. it's like, hey, that's kind of immoral making that into a Nair to Will's channel. But it's like, that's kind of more moral than keeping that channel around. Because so, people don't see it as satire, though. They see it as like, I think we help haven't, us, this is news. We haven't considered the moral implications of what we're doing. We're only well, considering the business it, application. Well, I don't think people will know the difference. So here's a question I want to ask. Oh, why did that person give me their phone number? Call, call around. No, let's not. So yeah. here's the thing that I want to <laughs> say. Inside story. The big channels, right? Yeah. So the the CNNs, the Fox News. What kind of messages do they get? If I'm getting this, do you know what I mean? Like the crazies on social media and stuff. Truly, I don't want to be that social well, media man. I, 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 I was, I was going to say, I don't people. feel bad for a lot of people on Fox News, but this Fox News social media just managers. Just the interns. The just the interns. I, they're the so who, sad. I'm so sorry that for some reason you think this is a good job to have, but it's you the have guy that went to that through. private college to be a social media manager. Got a job at Fox News. He doesn't maybe not agree with it, mm -hmm. but he's on it. It's a great paying job. It has to deal with this. Do you think it like it it's eats into be, your psyche? It's got to be even worse. I've like, read if, some of these comments too. You were there. Mm -hmm. Um, you you just found out about this today yeah. with our old roommates and stuff. We would sit down and read, kind of read them. It can wear you down a little bit. It's kind of yeah. sad. Some of it's sad. It's like, oh, she's been missing for months. We haven't found any information. Like, I'm like... going to paraphrase one of the uh, comments. I can't find it now because I get hundreds of messages. People one was like, that. my special needs daughter is missing. We think this man took her. She um, might be dead. Honestly, we don't really know what to it do. And we don't know who to turn to. And you read it and you're like, this is... What do I do? The only thing that would... What, what do you do? The only thing that could make this funny hindsight is if... 
when, after we change the brand to it, that they're messaging a YouTube channel <laughs> that's comedy YouTube well, vids. And it's like, oh, we need help. Once they change the name, I don't, it won't pop up on their search or anything. So I don't even think they'll find it unless they go into their <laughs> likes. And we'll be a secret This is like. a deep scam. This is a huge I think we scam. made our decision. I don't Ooh. think it matters at all. Should we do this live on the podcast? Uh, we, we will. I think. Maybe if they go into their messages and it's like that. This but is. But I don't. I don't know. We no, have to talk about this, fine. but we do have another. We have another subject to get to. Twenty-two thousand people, though. Twenty-two thousand. These are real people. Again, we're not buying followers. No, we're not. Wait, 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 wait. wait. If you delete comments and like uh, messages on Facebook, are they gone? Gone? Uh, or is it just gone for you? I think they're gone. No, I, I think I am the moderator. You, the you can't delete page. other people's messages. So can we okay. go look at? I, okay. I have. I have an idea. I have an idea. Before we go any further, hold okay, on. Okay. Okay. I have an idea. So. We've given just everybody the options. The We've given everybody the options right here. Yeah. Right? So we're going to post this when this gets aired. Comment on there how you feel about it. We're going to keep talking about They're it. They're going to find it. I feel like this is a I thing mean, that it, a, they could trace it back to me somehow. You know what I mean? Better get on that page and well, start then, deleting things. Yeah, I would. <laughs> by by the time this out. comes out, by the time this comes out, you can edit this part. 22,000? No. Back cut. in again. Um, here's what I'm thinking. We need to like play it a little bit safe. I, I think I have an idea. I have a couple ideas. And I want to put this into, like, perspective. This isn't, like, a fake news channel I created. I posted maybe six statuses within a day. In middle then school. Then I went back in high school when I did the Indiegogo page, when I uh, shot that, and then I posted there, too. It wasn't like I've been slowly... I laid the groundwork and I stepped away, like a good leader does. And honestly, <laughs> let's even remove it further. This was not, like, a long-term plan that you made. I didn't even you, make that video. You made... <laughs> You made a hilarious thing just to post about Jimmy Neutron or whatever you were yeah. posting on there. Just Jimmy Neutron. And then, like, walked away. So it, we're discovering this now and plotting this? It, this is not like, oh, I rediscovered this plot that I had. No, no. We're, we're doing this now as full cognizant. We're now thoughts. thinking, hey, could we get 20,000 people on Facebook yeah. to like the narrative walls without trying? Mm -hmm. So I want to bring up, like, <laughs> me and my friend, we had this old channel. You can find it somehow. It's where we posted stupid skits that we used to do. And this was, like, early YouTube... Mm -hmm. Like, we were just little too. kids in front of a camera. And mm -hmm. it's great, and I'm going to keep it up because they're great content, and it's bad content, too. Mm -hmm. But it's just me and my friend. His name's Thomas Wynn. Check him out. And so oh, we made this channel. Full name. Full it's name. okay. He won't care. What's his middle name? Uh, Jared. Thomas. Jared Kushner. Full oh, 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 Jared Kushner? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. No, and so we created this channel. And uh, we were going to make this video about it. It was a zombie attack. So what the whole point was, you were going to scroll through all the messages, and if you paused it, you could see it, right? It was never supposed to... And then at the end, there's a motherfucking zombie attack, which is the last... And that's then right, That's yeah. how they found out that there was a zombie attack. And that was the whole joke. And we that's had to create a Facebook page. How it turned into what it turned into... The internet will never cease to amaze me. How did they share that with their friends? So, yeah, that's that's what we have to wrestle with. That's on our agenda. Oh, and one more thing. There's no location on it. Yeah. Everybody just thinks it's their... It's, everyone thinks their, it's their news, yeah. We looked it up. There's other ones with that title. Leave that. And leave that. Leave that. And so everyone... That's a common thing. Well, mm -hmm. leave that, what? She said it, so I'm not gonna... I'm gonna bleep it up by that. Oh, also, um, like, there are some... In this case, the people in the comments of this aren't Good Samaritans who are commenting and are like, you guys are being scammed. This is not the real news. Yeah. So, shout out to those commenters because yeah. they were correct about it. I this. mean, they <laughs> did go to that channel already, comment on it, probably liked probably it. Probably liked it. Just yeah, so they're safe. not better, but they are the best of the best. They're the best of, of the worst. The worst. Of the worst. Of the worst. <laughs> so, what is the implication that social media holds on us? Is our topic. Oh, that's <laughs> what we're <laughs> talking about? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Jeez. I, I don't know. I Are always, we really going to talk about it? No. I, We're already on the stand train. Mm -hmm. In general, I want to be like, sure. social media is kind yeah. of the worst thing in the world. I don't like it that much. I love the idea of it, but there are some weird things on there. Like, um... I agree that it's not great, but I don't, like, I don't think... I don't write it off as a whole as terrible. Mm -hmm. I like to joke that it is, and I have, like, four minutes before when I was joking about how terrible it <laughs> yeah. is. But I don't think as a whole it's bad, but I think that the applications that it gets, not applications like on a phone, but like the applications that people use yeah. it for, the reasons they yeah. use it, I think that's the toxic Well, there's part. a lot of good yeah. stuff that comes from it too, I right. think. Right, but it's just like everyone's agendas. Like this. Good stuff. <laughs> no, yeah, like, um, I don't know. It's just... Go, good posing. <laughs> Thanks. I'm, I'm in the middle, I guess. I'm stuck, stuck in, the in the middle. middle. About this. What, what, what do you say, Angelo? 
I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 just how people use it because a lot of people use it to get mad about their opinions and condescend yeah. other people, and then there's a lot of things. But then it, again, you think about like your GoFundMe is a good example, in which it's like there are a billion examples of like situations like GoFundMe and Kickstarter, mm -hmm. which is like that saves people's lives or it spreads mm -hmm. awareness and like. Yeah. It's or just, gets you potato salad. Yeah. Or gets you potato well, and they, salad. And they did a whole, like, <laughs> also, the whole I fest. I think that's hilarious. Let's get potato salad. Let's I don't like potato salad. I don't like it either. Yeah, I know I you're mad about that. No, you hated no. that Kickstarter, didn't you? I hated it at the time until he did the whole fest, invited all of his, like, uh, his town I to it. I forgot that he did. Okay. And so, so well, it became a really cool thing. Explain and he, to the viewers. Okay. So, um, there was a You do it, though. He did, like, a $5 Kickstarter Who's for here? potato salad, right? And it's because like, he wanted potato salad. It's a joke. It got funded to like thousands of dollars. I don't know who it was like that actually did that. Something. Somebody on the internet. Like a lot of money. Right. And like so 10,000% more. And he got it. And all he said he wanted uh, potato salad. So technically he could do whatever he wanted with that money. Mm -hmm. But he chose to hold a like a concert type venue thing in his town. Invite people over. Have bands playing. A ton of different potato salads. And tons of potato salad. Like, celebrities came. The news came. And it was, like, a fun little thing for your town. Which... Yeah. So, at the time, I was mad. But the second I found out he was doing that, I'm like, that's a good guy. Even if he spends some of the money himself. I mean, it was never, I, like, I would, personally. I was never mad at him. I was mad for the people spending the money. Like, yeah. he already met his goal. Why are you still getting No, I, I was for never really... Memes, then it was cool. For the memes, for the memes yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, and I was never mad at him. him. Yeah. Because... Right. I never cared, like... You put five dollars on GoFundMe. Oh, Go that's, and that's my thing. I can't, sometimes, I can't be mad. At, so when you talk about, like, you know, prank channels on YouTube, where you talk about, like, Facebook meme videos, are you more mad at the creators of that, or are you more mad at the people that, like, rampantly share those the and, people. like, that's rampantly the, is this, like that? We, that's the one. As much as we joke about it, is this a situation with, like, the Daddy of Five thing? Like in all serious now, yeah. All serious though. So on on a stream, sometimes we kind of joke about yeah. Daddy O Five, and I like honestly that was a terrible experience. Um, but there were like rampant supporters. Well, it, 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 every video got thousands of views and stuff like that. And so, so I mean, mm -hmm. even though of course it's horrible that they're doing this stuff, and that's irre 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 Rep reprehensible. Irre irreprehensible. Um, there's still people who, even if they're not leaving likes, even if they're not posting comments, even if they're not sharing with their friends, there's still a number that's allowing it to happen. Yeah. Right. They're not disliking right. it. They're not con condemning it, per se. Yeah, it's like, it's... Silent I, majority, I guess. That's, yeah, there's no middle ground in... Okay, maybe with that case, with that specific case, there's no, like, you can eat, you have to be either actively against it or, like, actively like, what, it's funny. Yeah. So, like... Yeah. Because I think there was a good number of people that went to see what would happen next. Because it was so ridiculous. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that was, I'm like, like, what's it called? Rubbernecking, where you watch a car crash, and you're like, so, like, people will Nightcrawler. turn. Nightcrawler. Yeah, Nightcrawler. It's called Nightcrawler. I want to bring up the fact, and I mentioned this earlier, about that movie Nightcrawler, since we're, since we're on the subject. Um, it's the Jake Gyllenhaal 2014 Nightcrawler. Um, mm -hmm. Not the X-Men. Uh, no, that's <laughs> what I'm saying, is that I don't understand why in the Nightcrawler movie... He wasn't blue. Mm -hmm. Jake Gyllenhaal was not blue. He did not have a tail. He did not go to hell. He could not trans teleport. Dude, just... And I don't understand why they they had the opportunity to bring it all together in the X Men universe, and they just, just they didn't. It shows how blind Sony can be sometimes. Yeah, that they literally they have these franchises, and he, like they literally they had it in the palm of their hand, but they didn't show Logan. They didn't show De like you could just bring it into the. You universe. have Jake Gyllenhaal playing Kurt Wagner, honestly. And you do nothing with it. Like, uh, Life, the mm -hmm. movie, they could have easily, and everyone was joking that, that it could be a Venom. a Venom symbiote, and it could have, that would have been a really cool viral marketing. Because, the movie Life? Yeah, with the, uh, oh, just the alien. Oh, okay. Because yeah, 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 it, yeah. It, everything from it looks like the Venom. Wait, you say that? That movie is exactly Alien. Yeah, I never saw yeah. it because I was mad about it. it I was, saw the trailer for that movie. It is literally... They're what? in space, they find a life form, it kills them on the space. I don't remember Ryan Reynolds walking around in his underwear, Sigourney Weaver style. That's what I all, all of what I remember from Alien, which is not true because Alien's a masterpiece. Oh, I love Alien. Alien's one of my favorite series of all it's, time. Honestly, Alien might be my favorite movie. Yeah, I, I could see that. We, we have an Alien poster right over to your right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, right, uh, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, that was it. The alien poster. <laughs> that's my alien well, that's poster. The and... one. We have a framed alien. You didn't know that was down there, did you? That's There's a lot of shit that we have hidden. Yeah. A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down in the herd. A lot down here. 
Anyway, so that leads us. Okay, let's get off the Daddy O Five thing. Let's talk <laughs> about. We have we have a subject here. We we're talking about movies before this, and we mm. often talk about movies. You'll like this subject. So, uh, <laughs> the we were talking about how um, which Oscars was it? The eighty eighth. I think it was the eighty eighth Oscars that oh, um, Spotlight. One of you is a decade off. No, 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 not the year. The eighty eighth annual Oscar ceremony. So Why the one, wouldn't you go by year? I was trying to how they do it on Wikipedia. That we're editing this part out. This is I'm quitting. Like, <laughs> no, so we were talking about like what movies like deserve to win, basically. Yeah. Kind of like Oscar winners. Uh, he was a like a rampant supporter about how Spotlight's the worst movie he's ever seen. That's that was a weird. That was a weird point that we didn't know what to talk about. He's like, incredibly wrong. He's like, I'm on the side of the Catholic Church. I was like, Whoa, oh my dude, God. <laughs> that's controversial. It's a hot take. I get it, but you know, sometimes you got to. Like right they were asking it. for it. I'm like, dude, please stop. <laughs> you're Josh, hitting okay. me with things. Trying to get Josh, me to you were being talking. disgusting. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we were looking at. We were just going through who won, and this is the. Uh, the uh, Oscars that happened uh, in February of 2016, so it was covering the films uh, of the previous year of 2015. Mm -hmm. So, Best Picture was Spotlight, and that year a lot of films were nominated, and Spotlight won. Let's give it like give a rundown. Of so the movies it right was now. Spotlight, The Big Short, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max, The Martian, The Revenant, and Room. So it a was lot a, of good movies. A lot a of lot good, a movies. good year for yeah, movies. I think I saw three year. of those. And so. I didn't see a few. I think I saw... I didn't see Brooklyn, but I saw the rest of them. I only saw Brooklyn. I didn't see Brooklyn <laughs> or the Big Short. Uh, Big Short's great. That's, I, I want to talk I, about Big Short now. No, I need to. Um, yeah, go ahead, sorry. No, it's okay. So the thing is I want to talk to Angelo because he's kind of like our outlier in this. So I know that we're on a side. He's on a side. This is our classic uh, fireside chat moment. Mm -hmm. It's uh, let's make Angelo believe what Ian says. God, here we go. All it right. happens like... It happens actually a lot. No, I think he's a he's a good outlier. I think Angelo yeah. is the head on our metaphorical the outlier. <laughs> yeah, he's a liar. <laughs> uh, just a liar. Yeah, uh, lion I'm Angelo. Out. Don't he's... you dare trust him. No. Uh, so it's the the argument here is is Spotlight won the best picture. Mm -hmm. I love Spotlight. Spotlight is great. And the other side of that is Mad Max Fury Road, and why that should have won Best Picture. So I think the four... Let, let's let's I have an opinion, and let's see if you guys can win me over. Okay. 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 And, and let me just say, I don't think either of us are in any way saying that the other movie is bad. No. No. Because we love... I love Mad Max, and I know he loves Spotlight. Mm -hmm. So this is not anti-either one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we just wanted to... You know, kind of talk some of this out. So go ahead with. I know I'm, no, I'm yeah. Team Fury Road. Okay, okay starting okay. off. So um, let's see if he can just I, keep me over there. Let's see if he can sway me. I guess. I'm aware. I'm aware. I have. Right, my here work we go. So I think the top four movies of the year would have to be like Spotlight, The Big Short, Fury Road, and then The Revenant. I would say those were the four that people were like really digging and stuff. Yeah. Okay. In terms of like what they wanted to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I had seen most of them at the time. I don't think I had seen Spotlight at that time. But yeah, we watched it after the Oscars. But I was in the the road where, uh, or I was in the. Uh, road. I was you were in, the... in Cormac McCarthy novel, The Road. Oh, yeah. that's a horrible place to be. <laughs> that's not a place you want to be. Viggo Mortensen is there. That's a shot Good in the leg with an movie. arrow. He no, took an arrow to the knee. <gasps> Remember that. No, I used to be an adventurer, but then I See, took an arrow to the knee. Good, some good things. No, that that's it that's about. that's the actually the opposite of how social media is terrible for society. We should end the internet. No, <laughs> um, I really think that Fury Road should have won, and I know she's on the same board. And it's because in my mind, I think Fury Road is a perfect movie. Now, there's no such thing as like perfect. Like you get ten out of tens on games and stuff and movies, and it's kind of like bullshit sometimes. Subjective. Yeah. Because nothing can be perfect. But I think Fury Road, in my opinion, is from beginning to end a technical masterpiece. I think yeah. it's a great like, like plot point for storytelling. Right. It's, you can show that you can have a main character that's not actually a main character. I think it, it's a good drive for like even feminism and just writing good character. There's a little bit of issue. Not sorry. If, I don't know where you left off with Salt Spotlight, um, Mad Max. It was, I, was, I, was, I was making the point that we've, we've talked about this before. <clears throat> In the medium of movies, like as just a movie, I agree. I also I do agree that Mad Max is a perfect movie in quotation marks. Like mm -hmm. it is a perfect like the beats are good, 
and like as a movie movie just as yeah. a thing to watch like a fun entertainment as entertainment it's pure entertainment right right yeah i think it, it benefited a lot from uh the editing like his wife edited that and it was um shouts she... out to all the wife editors out there so uh marcia lucas uh, well she had never done a action movie yeah she had only so done, she um drama yeah so she approached it with a really weird eye which made it super interesting yeah it's I, a totally, like, different focus than, like, a traditional um, action movie. Mm -hmm. I think, like, even from the very beginning when I watched it, there was the scene where they cut all the frames where he's running through the caves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I watched that, and it was so jarring. But I, so I know weird. Haley, like, turned to it's me, and I had so a big weird. smile. And I'm like, this is so cool. I Actually, love how they're doing this. It's funny you bring that up, because when I watched it the first time, I was like... I didn't, I didn't even grasp what was happening filmmaking-wise. And so then watching it the second time, I was like, oh, oh, this is like, oh, this is really, this is crazy and pulls you in. It's very jarring. But the oh, first yeah. time, I was just like dumbfounded, like, uh, he's running through the thing. Like, I was just in love. And, yeah, like, in and that's movie. what makes it like a great movie is that it can do that to you the first time. Mm -hmm. Even like, as like people who like notice and try to <clears throat> point out that stuff. Because Ian and I go to school for film. And so, I don't like, know anything more than anybody else. Especially when, like, he Except would go to a movie, and, like, I would go to a movie, and we would just, like, enjoyment, you know? Yeah. And, rather and, than just, like, oh, that was a good shot, or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, like, I'm not objectively smarter or know more about films right. than most people. Like, you'll, you'll find a lot of film snobs that, like, I, oh, my opinion is right. And I'm not. I like dumb shit, too. I think Pacific Rim is one of the best movies ever created, <laughs> and that's a stupid opinion, but I love it. And it's just, like, it's that kind of stuff. And it's, it's not, yeah, it's not like... a bad movie by any means. No, it's but a, it's not a bad. controversial opinion. That's a good I movie. think it's a controversial opinion. Is it really? That's a good movie. Yeah, people hate that movie. Why? I don't know. We'll go I, back. I saw it the one time in theaters, so I don't like but... Right, but it's not saying like I know more because I go to school for film. It's like I try harder to notice those things. Well, it's just because you have a passion for like knowing that right. information. It's just like an extra effort. Like I just I don't go to movies just for the enjoyment that much. Mm -hmm. Mad Max so is... So when it just, like, can pull me out of, like, I really want to see it for, like, all these reasons, mm -hmm. and I can just enjoy it. Totally. And that's what I was saying, like, Mad Max is one of those movies that you can pull, like, screen grabs from it, and it's a beautiful scene. It's a beautiful oh, shot. Yeah. It's, like, and you don't even have to try hard to get that shot. Mm -hmm. Those Twitter pages that are, like, mm -hmm. amazing, beautiful scenes in films yeah. and all that stuff, yeah. Like, yeah. and it's just a... Like, the lulls in that movie, like, if you talk about the night scene where they're driving and it's all blue, mm -hmm. that's a great lull between the action. Like, I love movies like John Wick and stuff where it's just constant da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And those are great, but the little breaks that these movies have really make the next action piece just so mm -hmm. intense. Yeah. And I think the actors gave a great job. I think the women gave a great job. Mm -hmm. I think um, George Miller is a great storyteller. I mean, look at uh, Happy Feet. Happy Feet, Happy Feet 2. Happy Feet 2. Perfect examples of film. Great examples. The only thing that I'm a little weird about now is um, they had just, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the news lately, uh, they were talking about mm -hmm. they're making a Furiosa prequel, possibly. Yes! But here's how I feel about that. They explained it perfectly in the movie They explained already. it. They're, what I'm afraid is they're going to do is they're going to give her a reason to be a badass. Uh, and I go back to like Maleficent, the movie, uh, where they uh, did yeah. this. And I didn't like it because in the scene, Angelina Jolie gets her wings cut off. And... It, that's an allegory for rape. Mm -hmm. And so she's sitting in the tree and she's crying and she's holding herself. Mm -hmm. And it's that's a good scene in itself, but why would you rape someone to make them a powerful character? I just and bought Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> but especially when, like, it's such a classical um, or classic take on, like, a just pure evil villain. Like, Maleficent yeah. was just evil for evil's sake. Yeah, you, don't need a, yeah. you don't need an origin story to be a villain. Well, and also, you don't right. need to, like, force trauma on a character to yeah. make them powerful. And they that's the issue yeah. that people have with writing And women. especially, yeah, especially with women, you don't have to, like, force a traumatic event on them to be, like, that's a, yeah. oh, this is a, she's powerful because she's overcome. That's a huge thing yeah. for, um, powerful. for the new Tomb Raider series mm -hmm. that Yahtzee critiques a lot. Um, zero Punctuation? Zero Punctuation and the Escape. Is that it's, like, <laughs> that she's constantly being faced with rapey men and yeah it's like she can just be a strong badass yeah. because she's a strong badass not because she has to overcome yeah because like nathan drake or 
you know, Mad you didn't Max. Have to give them it's bad asses because they're not Mad Max yet. doesn't have to constantly overcome like someone trying to put stuff in his butt to like. And that was be, a great be a Mad Max. He wasn't even the main character of that film. This no. is Furiosa's movie, and he's a character, and that's all the Mad Max movies. And there was out... something where only had like so many lines or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, like, yeah, yeah. But all the Mad Max movies are like that. No, yeah. but seriously, shouts out to Tom Hardy pulling a great supporting actor role in that movie. Like he does a great job of just bolstering the action, not trying to scene scene steal or like. He, he knows what it's about. He's playing the character for the movie, and everybody's doing it for the greater good. He had a great movie. year that year. Yeah. He did The Revenant, which I thought he was a great he supporting amazing actor. I don't think I've Revenant. seen that. The Revenant. Um, I, I have a free you want to watch it, with me. We saw it for free. Yeah, we saw like a pre screening, and like they, they, had a heart monitor they put on a heart monitor on us and gave us an iPhone so they could because, like. Because like people were like running out. During the bear scene in it. So they gave us, so they, they wrote an article about our like heartbeats cool. and stuff. They it do doesn't it, look they bad, do well, it, it was like it's good. like the train thing that we talked about. How like the old school train video, how oh. people got scared and ran out of the theater. Yeah, I told this story. I told this story actually. That was always screaming. Gonna, I'm gonna tell this story. Just quick sidebar. <laughs> I in an essay because I'm in a film class right now, and I wrote in an essay. I made reference to that old story of in 1908. There was a screening of a of a of an early like daguerreotype movie <laughs> that had a train passing like right by the camera. And so there's the old myth that was propagated by somebody who wrote it at the time that uh, people were diving out of the way of the screen because they were so confused by the images they were seeing. That's not true. That story's not true. It's just a good story that people tell. A lot of things in history are just not what they like appear to be, and that's one of those Abe stories. Lincoln's still alive. Yeah. He's, He's never still assassinated. Alive. He's with Tupac and Elvis in Cuba. <laughs> Rise up, rise up, slay your leaders, slay your leaders. I like this one. This is a good episode. Coup d'état, coup d'état.